Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to Beyond Blue. Last time we went to the Brine Pool, a lake under the ocean made of super dense briny salt water. And uh, we saw some giant squid and stuff. This time, let's see where we're gonna go. Alright, back to Robin and her... Or, why do we say Robin? Sorry, Robin Subnautica. Uh, back to Mirai and her... Only slightly uncanny face, but completely human hands. That's a big one. We are we were in the midnight zone last episode. We like how it has a it has a straight up shower. Like it's it's nothing fancy, but it's definitely a straight up shower. Man, look at all the marine snow. Whoa, what's that? Oh, we don't know what that was. It was pretty cool. I love how she totally doesn't ever bother to make her bed. Like, ever. It's great. Alright. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, nothing? Okay. Oh, first video capturing a sperm whale hunting a giant squid. Yes. Good. Alright, well, it looks like our dive is ready. Let's do that. Let's do it. Leroy Jenkins, if you're excited to see what's down here in the Hadean depths, please make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon for all notifications. Comment in the comment section down below. Share where you can. Biggest thanks, as always, to all of our lovely patrons. What's this? Oh, nice, yeah. Biggest thanks, as always, to all of our lovely patrons for all their support, without which we would have never started any of this YouTubing goodness in the first place. So consider going on down to the description, hitting up the links to support us. You know, look yourself in the eyes, girl. It's a little shorter than you, though. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, go on down to the links to support us. Hit up our Patreon and pledge even just a dollar a month, because every dollar helps. Okay, well, we tried to finish conversations with our helm chair, but it wouldn't let us navigate, so... Come on, man. Okay, we'll try this again. Oh, and now it's letting us know. Huh. It's Irina. It's Since Irina. there's no dive today, I'm going to lose myself what? in the wet lab to work on those samples you sent up from the brine pool. Nice. Hey, have you listened to my daughter's track? Interesting, right? Cool, cool. Andre? Oh, Remember the tag we found on the turtles? I put it out on the network and I got the strangest message back. I'm gonna take a tender to a small island nearby and check it out. I'll explain everything later. Okay. Still no mapping drone, by the way. In okay. What about Ren? Sister. Hey, it's Ren. Me. Nana didn't qualify for the study. Oh. Doctor says we missed the window. Whatever that means. Oh. Hard to tell what she remembers now. It's tough. Not sure my head's 100% there with school. Honestly, seems like a waste of money. Anyway, see you. Poor Nana. Things are not going well. We are in the abyssal zone here. Actually, <clears throat> we believe there was a straight up like pressure and depth log and everything right there in the background. Yeah, bam. So, South China Sea, abyssal dive. Yeah, so we're way down. Very low visibility. Water temperature, 2C. Mineral study of deep water vents to advance Irina's work on the origins of life. Hey. Oh, uh, whoops. Not only that. Nana, doctor says we... Yeah, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right. What we like is that Mariah has the uh, the whale dive, the hunting dive for the uh, things. Fun fact: uh, sperm whales are naturally buoyant. They uh, they float for quite a while after they die, um, because they have you know like a thousand gallons of oil in their head, like in a big old fat repository in their heads. Day thirteen. We're in the vents region without a map because of the lost drone. Diving blind, but I know these vents are important to Arena. Heck yeah. We tracked a tag from our whale family here. 
I'm hoping it just fell off, as this would be an unusual place for a whale to be. Yeah, it would Andre be. Andre has the dive suit in safe mode, so I'll have restricted range. Oh. Head south to find the clearing for the sub pickup. Check. Ready to dive. Oh, quite a bit more contemplative than usual, actually, for Mirai. I'm in and okay. Remember, no boys and no waypoints. I put a simple version of the mapping system on your Manta dream. Beautiful, look at this. Relax. You know I've got this. Nice. No chit chat. Singing's okay though, right? Beautiful. This is what it looks down in the abyssal area. Ooh, basking shark, sleeper shark. Nice. We are, of course, far too active for most of these things to want anything Nina, to do with. How will I know the difference again between a dormant vent and a live vent? Oh, live vents would have 400 degree water streaming up to something that's one way. Oh, that is one way. Wide berth and the live hydrothermal vents. I'm sorry. I thought my mic was muted. This is a dormant field. No live vents. Beautiful. Look at this thing. Such a creature. Ancient, too. Probably actually personally ancient. This sleeper shark might be a hundred years old for all we know. Well, let's follow him. You know, him or her. It doesn't really matter. It's not a guy-girl thing. Let's just follow the shark. Shark seems to know what's going on. Far be it from us. It, of course, wouldn't even try to eat us or anything like that. It's... These guys are just big, peaceful sea puppers, and far more importantly, sleeper sharks are a carrion critter. They, uh, they like to eat what they can get away with, which, generally speaking, is, you know, like, dead. Wonder if it's going on a specific- it's probably going on a specific circuit. Oh... What's that? Neither of you are gonna believe this. I think I found the mapping drone. Really? Nice. Can you scan it to make sure? Oh yeah. Scan confirms. I thought you programmed it to track the noise from the miners. I did. I definitely did. Maybe you never committed oh, to the pretty exhausted that night. Maybe. Nah. Look at it. it. It doesn't even have a very big mouth, by the way, if you hadn't noticed. They they have mouths on the bottom of them because they eat carrion. Well, they'll eat anything that they think they can get around, but we are not in the weight class that they would be interested in spending energy on. Oh, what is this? Okay, this dive just keeps getting stranger. How hot did you say that water typically is in a live vent? Is that a joke? No joke. Well, we're down one drone, but discovered an unmapped vent system. Nice. This is great. It is great. I truly believe that these systems are the key to understanding Ooh. the origins of life. Thank you so much for doing the dive under these conditions. Beautiful. Appreciate Look at that. That might be the answer. What? To why the drone died. Mm, we were talking about the origins of life. My mind won't stop if it can't fit all the pieces together. The mapping drone may have Beautiful. Too close to the vent. It's got more delicate equipment on its underside that are not rated for anything close to that temperature. You sound almost pleased. Well, it's better uh -huh. the floors so you can fix them. Yeah. Look at that. Tube worms, probably hundreds of years old. The biggest ones. And all sorts of different things. These systems are amazing for harboring all sorts of cool life that we've never seen before. We we always were quite uh, entranced by the deep ocean. It's one of those foreboding places that you don't... Oh, I know 
giving me the silent treatment? Nice. I think I just discovered a new species of octopus. I'm not sure I can confirm that with just one scan. Sorry, didn't copy that. Seven-armed octopus. It's going away. Yup. Another sleeper shark. Do we need to go back and scan the... We need to go back and scan something. Scan some sharks. Got a new log entry for sharks. Not a feeling. Oh, come on. Don't... What are you doing? Come on. Come on, buddy. There you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we definitely needed to scan some events. Do we have, like, uh... Yeah, we do, but it doesn't... Okay, yeah, it doesn't... Whoa, okay. There, that's our regular light. Beautiful. Is this our last one? Sorry, we had to follow the adorable octopus, because we love octopuses. These kind of places could harbor all sorts of amazing life. Both just for the sake of being life, but also they could have amazing benefits. Uh, for example, the horseshoe crab has special blood that interacts with bacteria and contaminants very specifically. And pretty much almost every single uh, drug on the market that is put in through IV requires being tested with horseshoe crab blood. Uh, it's, it's the most expensive liquid on the planet that's natural. Uh, and uh, we find uh, horseshoe crabs, they come up from the base, you know, the ground here, or, well, the, the base of the water. Uh, base of the ocean. Sorry, we're, we're not super great at talking today we got up really early this morning because we've been we were food poisoned a couple days ago and we're just trying to like really get back up into things it's pretty though so pretty we love the marine snow effect because that's what it would look like there's so many things Arena, up whoa did you expect volcanic activity here? Ooh. describe Red, glowing, need more? You're right. I would guess that's a very wide berth. Or not. Like maybe from your son. They really, really went beyond for this game. Like, really? It's amazing. Beautiful. Some really, really good science-y images here. Oh, wow. We gotta, we gotta just turn back and look at that. Because lava does happen underwater. It cools on the outside and rolls around and breaks off. It's called pillow lava because it, it looks like a pillow. You know, it's got a, a covering around it. We, we, we love deep sea stuff. It's so cool. Oh, man. What's this? Oh... That is Are not an animal. Me? Describe, please. I can't. I'm, I mean, I don't want to. Mirai, you're making me uneasy. Seriously, we'll look at it together when I'm done with the dive. That's a mining bit. That 
is definitely a really, really hard tipped drill bit. Yup, they are in bad turf. Oh, are we going on? Are we going into a cave? Ooh, please tell us we're going into a cave. Look at all these bivalves. They're white because there's no color down here. They don't need to have color. Oh, man. Really? That's also for mining. So disrespectful. Hey, buddy. Oh, my goodness. A whale fall. So, here we get to see what happens to whales that die. They fall to the base of the ocean, and their entire marine communities pop up around them. And these are called whale falls. When a whale falls. Now, whale falls don't necessarily happen with all whales, because a lot of whales are killed by, you know, super big predators. Some roll up onto the water. So some, some roll up on the water to uh, the surface and become like, you know, just things lying around on the surface which get eaten by creatures on the beach. Uh, yeah, bam, bear life fish? No. These are actually really cool locations to be because you can see just how everything works. Animals from all around, miles in every direction. Hagfish, crabs, uh, all sorts of fish. And even these sleeper sharks, which we were talking about earlier, they eat carrion. These sleeper sharks are here to devour pieces of uh, this delicious piece of whale. Also, you don't see it, but almost all whales are littered with parasites. So there are there are thingies that are that would be would have been crawling around in this whale since before it died, and when it died, oh, actually, we might even, we might even have something here. Okay, well, or alternatively, we could just look at Mariah's butt. That's a thing. Yeah, see, there's this white thing inside of it there. That was probably some gnarly parasite, as almost all whales are littered with parasites. This is just, you know, a factor of living in the ocean where you have contaminants all around no matter what you do. Come on, buddy. We are, as you can see, trying to get, like, just literally everything before we move on to the whale proper. And we believe that should be good. Collect bio sample, like you do. Things come from miles around. Okay. Just getting a few last scans. Of course. This wouldn't be good for for somebody like her. I'm saying goodbye to a friend. Oh. Can you send the sub? Oh. Poor Mirai. Oh, science has always lagged behind ocean industrialization. I would like for once to see the science ahead of the industrialization and have the science to find the limits of the industrialization. Dr. Bandy Joy, marine scientist and explorer. Oof. 
Oh, it looks like we're out of the abyssal zone. Let's get these videos before we end the video. As it were. Oh. Elder female from Andrea's family. Oh my goodness. Oh. We watched the video log from your dive. I'm truly heartsick. Unfortunate. I'm that's that's Where not cool. <sighs> Mining. The destroyed vent. Yeah. I couldn't believe how badly the seabed was chewed up. Vents that might have had a fossil record dating back a billion, over a billion years. years. Yeah. And microbial life that doesn't exist anywhere else on the planet. Who no. knows what cures we've lost? Yeah, exactly. The drones a fallen hero, Andre. I think it spooked the miners before they did more damage. If you hadn't been willing yeah, to yeah. hide without a map, we would never have confirmed they were actively mining. Who gets the satisfaction of turning them in? We were debating that before you came. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's do it together. We should jointly report. It'll be stronger. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Now tell us about the whale fall. Could you ID the whale? Oh, jeez. The whale fall was definitely from the baby's family. The tail fluke was intact enough to scan it. But you're sure it wasn't the mother? It wasn't the mother. The ID matched another whale we know from her family. So they're tearing up the the vents and they're killing whales. But it was an older whale, so more vulnerable. Okay. Do you think there's any connection to the miners? They did plenty of damage, but I don't think the whale fall is on them. I can't oh. pull out anything from the scan log that might be worth investigating. It looked like it had been I already have. Can you turn chewed these into for a little bit. Right. Catch you in a bit. Nice. Oh, jeez. Oh. Sorry, we just, um... Okay, so we're going back to the sea mounts. Medium, good visibility. Uh, but we'll do that one next episode. Mainly, we're just... We're just... Oh. The ocean belongs to us all. It isn't something that you can just exploit without consequence, without the harm to everybody else in the world. As Irina was saying, imagine the cures and the treatments that could be waiting if horseshoe crab blood can 100% of the time detect bacterial contamination in our vaccines, then imagine what other kind of secrets are waiting for us deep within the black next to those thermal vents with life forms that have existed practically unchanged for maybe millions of years with secrets in their biology the likes of which we can't even yet dream of these kind of things are what very seriously make us consider marine biology the most important of our earthly sciences. We know so little about the ocean, but we are so happy to tear it up. To get small materials without understanding exactly what it could mean for the ecosystems that we're trotting through. Uh, we think if anybody is going to take anything from this episode today, please remember that there is a lot more riches to the ocean than just material gain. The base of our planet, the lowest valleys of the oceans, the deepest vents, they are not just worth oil and fossil fuels and minerals. They are worth timeless amounts of information extending possibly back billions of years they're worth the treatments and the cures that we have not yet even dreamed of we think it's really valuable that people remember that thanks so much for coming if you liked what you saw remember to like subscribe hit that bell icon for all notifications make sure to comment in the comment section down below and uh share wherever you can biggest thanks as always to all of our patrons over on patreon for all of their support without which we would have never started any of this YouTubing in the first place. So please consider uh, going on down to the description, 
Jeez, Nolan Oil is so stupid, just rammed into the side of our freaking boat. Um. Oh, jeez. This is what we've been saying for videos now. Oh, go ahead and get out of here, you big dumb sealed mouth freak. Uh, go on down to the description for all the places to support us. Head on over to Patreon and pledge for even just a dollar a month. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye. Oh, and remember that Black Lives Matter.